Hi there, welcome. Today we're going to talk about patterns and relationships. The I can statement is I can create two number patterns given two rules, form ordered pairs, and graph them on a coordinate plane. Our example says Amy spends $2 for each sheet of 10 stickers. So our table here shows the cost and it shows the number of stickers. The cost is going to be along our x-axis and the number of stickers will be along our y-axis. So if the cost is $2, she'll get 10 stickers. If the cost is $4, she'll get 20. If, she, if it's $6, she'll get 30, and if it's $8, she'll get 40. So if we write those numbers, number pairs as ordered pairs, 210, 420, 630, and 840. And now if we go down to our coordinate grid and plot those points, we would go over 2 and up 10 for 210, over 4 and up 20, over 6 and up 30, and over 8 and up 40. Now write a rule to describe how the number pairs are related. So there's a couple different ways that we can look at these numbers. We could just look at our x-axis and see that it increases by 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. So the rule for x is plus 2. And we could look at y and see that it goes 10, 20, 30, 40. So the rule for y would be plus 10. But another way to look at these is to see how x and y are related to each other because that helps us look even further um, in, into um, a pattern. So I could keep going 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 and, and just keep going. But I can also look at how x and y are related 2 to 10, 4 to 20, 6 to 30, 4 to 8 to 40, and ask myself, well, 2 times what is 10? 2 times 5, right? 4 times 5 is 20. 6 times 5 is 30. And 8 times 5 is 40. So my rule for this is that I take the, is, I take the cost and I mul multiply it by 5 to find how many stickers I, I get. So if I take cost times 5, I will get stickers. How many stickers could Amy buy for $12? Well, $12 times 5 equals 60 stickers. Okay, go ahead and try the practice problems, and then when you're finished, scan the QR code at the bottom, and we'll go over them.